I want to start this interview by picking up some of the threads that we talked about when we last spoke, which was back in Feb. So we're talking about five months ago. I kept uh, asking you the question about where you were seeing the markets going and about the virtuous cycle that you talked about, about getting India back on track. And at that time, you said it's 50-50. Mm. And you really couldn't tell whether the Chidambaram put, so to speak, would yeah. play out. Yeah. Are we any clearer five months down the line? Uh, no, I think in the sense that uh, the Chidambaram put has worked in the sense that uh, I think it's put a floor under the markets and under the economy in the sense that I don't think the economy is going to grow less than 5%. This year, 55 6% is realistic. And I think the markets also, I don't think, you know, are going to collapse and go below 5,500 or something like that. But I don't think they've been successful in triggering off the virtuous cycle in the sense of triggering off, uh, getting the markets into a euphoric zone or, and then by that triggering off access to capital, which allow companies to recapitalize and then therefore be able to repair balance sheets and then start investing again. I think the, um, the whole uh, investment or economic environment or the investment uh, uh, mood in India uh, among corporates and uh, even among individuals is still nowhere where it should be. So I don't think, uh, no, I, I don't think he's been able to be successful in the sense that I don't think we are, we've broken out of the, the lack of investment, uh, you know, problems that, that we've been encountering in the last 18 months. That continues. Mm. So let's go bit by bit into what we discussed last time. You said... He obviously has good intentions, but he seems to be a sole voice in the government. That pretty much, even today, seems to be the case. Hundred percent. I think even more so. In fact, even more so. Yeah. Because at that time, at least, it was just a, this was just a, a view I had. I think now the evidence is quite clear mm. that he's fighting a single-handed battle, or the finance ministry with Dr. Rajan and Arvind Mayaram, I mean, all are very smart people and all. I think whenever you interact with these people, you you get a great sense of confidence. They know what the problem is and they're aware of it. But I don't think anything else coming out of the government of India indicates any sense of of, uh, of understanding of the urgency of the situation or the or the desire to speak in one voice. Hello and welcome to